Hey everyone, remember back at 4,000 subscribers when I said I was going to do a Q&A video? <laughs> yeah, we're like five, four-ish people shy of 4,400 subscribers and I haven't done one yet. But I'm doing one now and I've got my list of questions, so we'll just start off with the first one because I'm terrible at YouTube, but I'm trying to be better. That's good, right? But the first question is from Deathbat Kayla on Twitter. We're starting off with the Twitter one, then we'll go to YouTube's. But she asks, what kind of music are you into? Love your channel, by the way. I am into a lot of eclectic music. The only genres of music I really don't listen to are hip-hop and rap. Mostly because it's very rare for me to actually find a song in either of the genres that I like, but I listen to a lot of rock music, classical music, or classical music and classical rock music, modern rock music, metal, all kinds of that fun jazz, and a lot of my... There we go. Okay. My little thingy -ma bob on my computer decided it wanted to make the screen go darker, which is rude. But I listen to, in addition to that, it's mostly video game soundtracks. So video game soundtracks, uh, Celtic and folk music, a lot of Blackmore's Night, Durham Grey, um, Nightwish, tons of Nightwish lately, and lots of old rock music, like Led Zeppelin, Metallica, and all that kind of fun stuff. I don't know, I mostly just hear a song and like it. Oh, I do listen to a lot of YouTube um, musicians and stuff, like I love Shmo Yoho, they're really cool, and uh, some of the songs Matthias has done, back when he did songs. Yeah, lots of music. Lots of music. Next we have Always for Peach. What's the first game you started to play? I don't know. I have a very, very spotty memory for my childhood for reasons. But I honestly cannot remember the first game that I ever played. The first ones that I have memories of is watching my sister play Parasite Eve and Resident Evil, the originals. Which is why I was a scared for, scared of those games for the longest time and couldn't even pick them up until I was older. But as for the first game I started to play myself... Um... I want- my gut instinct wants to say it was Final Fantasy IX, but I know for a fact that wasn't it. Because I technically played 7 and 8 before 9, but I never actually finished 7. Um... I honestly don't know. I have no idea what the first game I ever played was. It might have been Metal Gear Solid. I do have a- I know what my first PlayStation 2 game I ever played was. I don't know what the first game I ever started was. But I know what my first PlayStation 2 game was because I was so excited to have played this, and I think the copy was my sister's technically at the point, but it was the game Bouncer, or The Bouncer, or something like that. I want to get a copy of it so I can play it on the channel, even though a fighting game would be a strange thing for me to play on the channel, but that game is made of nostalgia for me so hardcore. But as for the first game I ever played, I think I was just too young to remember. That's... All I can think of, because I've been playing games since I was really little. My half-sister is seven years older than me. And she was a gamer before I was. So, yeah, I picked it up pretty much out of the womb. Next is Wise Man the Wicked. Favorite YouTube animation, indie animation, and full animated movie. Can you tell I really like animation? No! No, not at all, Wise Man. You, in fact, probably hate animation, despite the fact that's what you do. But my favorite YouTube animation, um, I can't pick one. I like them all. Wait, no, 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 that's a, that's a lie. I've got something in my eye. Um, my favorite YouTube animation, I can't remember the name of it, but it was... Oh, it was something I saw in high school. Let me see if I can find it. Draw With Me, there we go! It was an old animation on YouTube called Draw With Me. Um, that one is probably my favorite. If I remember, I will put a link in the description to it. But it is absolutely heartbreaking and amazing and so well done and so old. That video, according to YouTube, I'm looking at it right now, is seven years old. Which means it was 2009 when I first saw it, because I saw it fairly early when it was uploaded. Which puts me in my junior year of high school. Junior slash senior-ish. I graduated from high school in 2010. But, yeah, 
That's a great video, and it's heart-wrenching, and it's amazing. As for indie animation? Eh. I don't know, because indie animation could be a YouTube animation, or it could be a full animated movie. I guess I'd still say Drop of Me would be both my favorite indie animation and my favorite YouTube animation. And as for the last one, my full, full animated movie? Hands down, Resident Evil Degeneration, because I am predictable as sin. <laughs> Um, I don't want to say Advent Children because I really like a Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, but not nearly as much as quite a few other animated films. My all-time favorite, especially for the bloopers, will always be Resident Evil Dege <laughs> Resident Evil Degeneration. I got it pre-ordered. My uncle got it for me for Christmas. He sent a little envelope, and I had no idea it was in the envelope, it was the one present that I couldn't sneak my way into figuring out what it was. So Christmas Day I opened it up, and all it was was an Amazon pre-order for Degeneration, which was awesome. So not the game anymore, though, because the disc went missing. I am actually looking at the case right now. I haven't seen that movie in a while, because I don't have the disc anymore. It got stolen, I think. It makes me sad. I need to go see if I can find it online or something, or get another disc. <gasps> okay. Abby Not Normal asks, Haba Baba Hababa Bab. And Molly liked it. <laughs> Next. Okay, now we are on to the YouTube questions, YouTube comments. Uh, Madame Aurora says, This isn't a question, I just wanted to let you know that I started watching you after I heard you in Wade's video. I thought you were funny. Then you played Fatal Frame Made in a Blackwater. Some of your funny moments helped me get through the past semester of college. I may not like some of the swear words you use, smiley face, but you have an awesome personality, and your content always makes me smile. You're awesome, Scarlet. That's really weird to say out loud, but thank you! Um, yeah, I swear. I swear a lot. I don't apologize for that. I do tr did try and curb my swearing a little bit in YouTube videos. If you go back to my older ones, like, uh, <laughs> Resident Evil 3 being one of the worst for this, from what I remember. Resident Evil 3, I'm pretty sure, had fuck almost as every other word. But now I have toned down quite a lot, and I'll use, like, fake swear words in place of it. Not that I'm censoring myself, it just feels like it's better content for me to not just be screaming fuck all the time and have most of the words in a video be a swear word. Uh, and it's kind of funny to come up with weird esoteric uh, swear words, like to borrow one from Necro, uh, funking funk stick. And also is for getting helping get through his past semester of college. College is hard. College is really hard. I've been in college a lot longer than I should have for various reasons, but I can definitely agree with you with college being very, very difficult, and I'm really glad that my little funny videos of me playing video games helped you, because that's literally what I'm here for and literally why I started my channel. Not to make, you know, be famous, not to make money, not to do this for a living, even though that would be cool and it'd be help me make better content. I did it! Because I wanted to make people feel better and to laugh at me because I'm a dumbass. I admit this. <laughs> oh dear, this username. I know that it's Austin Covello. He just has a lot of one, like ones and numbers in his name on YouTube. <laughs> Hi Scarlet, you look spiffy. I try. I love the Dead by Daylight stream you did recently. <laughs> this is. The, the, the screenshot of this says one month ago, it's probably closer to it too. Every other Twitch streamer is overselling the survival horror aspect of it by acting fake scared, and you're over here bitching about the toolbox being nerfed and calling the killer out for being a camping... <laughs> that word. I'm, it made me think of the game in a way that the devs might not have. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I don't scare easily. I really don't. I do have my triggers for things that scare me. Um, I'm... A lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm actually afraid of the dark. I rail about the darkness in games like Layers of Fear because I can't see anything, but that doesn't scare me. Suddenly the, all the lights have been out, I'd be terrified. <laughs> but yeah, Dead by Daylight doesn't scare me. 
it's hilarious and it's rage inducing, but it doesn't really scare me. Unless I'm playing with some of my friends on the live stream and they use really creepy voices. That doesn't help! <laughs> no, that doesn't that doesn't fucking help. So Barton wants to know. I saw you when Wade's charity stream ended and he sent us over to join your stream. That was when Wade raided my charity stream after his for St. Jude's and my viewership shot up to like 500, 600 people and I was really confused for a while. <laughs> I've been hiding out in the Xenosaga playlist since I found the YouTube channel. In fact, I dug out my disc and, and restart so meh. In fact, I had to dig my disc out and restart so kind of playing along. We socially awkward nerds have to stick together. Exactly. Even though we're socially awkward nerds, so we can't stick together because we're socially awkward, so we stay apart from each other and just look at each other from the sidelines while we are holding our controllers like this, trying not to make eye contact. Don't worry about it. As for the Xenosaga one, Xenosaga was one of the first Let's Plays I ever did on the channel, and I love those games to death. I really want to do the second and the third one, but I'm not sure how well they do on the channel, to be honest. Because they're kind of like a very esoteric niche uh, JRPG that not a lot of people know of or not a lot of people have played. Maybe one of these days, when I get a little bigger, I'll do like a whole, you know, couple hours of Zen Saga 2 at a time. Like, kind of like what I do with Deus Ex, except maybe have the videos be even longer than that. Or maybe I'll do it as a live stream and then I'll upload the live stream. Who knows? Well, I am doing that Final Fantasy VII already, so probably not. <laughs> but one of these days, maybe if we'll do Xenosaga Episode 2 and 3. I have copies of them. I do have them. They are literally pointing at them right now. They're over there. <laughs> I want to play them. Just like I want to play Shadow Hearts on the channel. One of these days. The yes. <laughs> Baldo Adamant wants to know, Hello Scarlet, you're very beautiful. That's it. That's my comment. See, I originally wasn't going to keep this in the list of my questions, but I wanted to purely so I could say, Don't like you when people say that. I don't like you when people call out my looks in YouTube comments. When people say, oh, you're so pretty, oh, you're very beautiful, this, that, and the other thing, I'm not here to be a pretty face. I'm not here to look good, though I guess that is why a lot of people watch YouTube. People watch Markiplier because he's attractive, people watch... Well, one of the many reasons why people would watch people like Markiplier or Jack or Entuin or Molly or Wade or anybody else is because, yes, they look attractive. Um, but... I hope that you guys get more out of it than watching a girl on YouTube playing video games. I hope that I at least am funny, because that's what I'm here for. And I try not to do the whole female YouTuber, female gamer thing that's some stereotype on YouTube of the girl with the tits out, which is part of the reason why I record from here up and no lower. Most of the time, unless I'm on console and the angle's just weird. Um, but yeah, I actually really don't like to be called beautiful or pretty in the comments. It makes me uncomfortable. But, that being said, still thank you. Just wanted to bring that up there, and that was the first comment I saw when I was asking for questions for this video. That said something to do about my looks. Dima Kulongan Punch asks, Subscribed after watching your XCOM videos. The thing that made me click subscribe is your genuine commentary. Good luck, Scarlet. That's what I try to do. I try to be genuine. I don't really think about my commentary. I just plug in my headset, make sure my microphone's on the correct settings that haven't altered for some reason because it has a tendency to shoot up its gain or get the gain really, really small when it's supposed to be on 35. Um, what was I saying? <gasps> right! Genuine commentary. And then I will turn on my recording programs and I will just start. I don't script anything, I don't go in with a plan, I just turn on the game, start playing, and turn my filter off. Which is part of the reason why I swear a bit more often in a video than I may in real life at times. <sighs> um, and I also turn off my ability to think in my head. 
I just go, cheek, and there's no more thoughts in here. They all come out here, and sometimes it ends up very well, and sometimes it ends very poorly. I've also been told I have a very fun voice, which helps, because I go up and I go down and I'm like this, and I'm like voice acting, and then I turn it for some reason I'm British in a video for no apparent reason, which I believe did happen in my Xenosaga video. There's at least two or three videos in there where I am inexplicably British for the entire video and I have no idea why. <laughs> Grandin says congratulations Scarlet on the 4,000 subscribers. A little bit higher than that now. Only recently found you from your Dragon Age Inquisition series. By the way, Dragon Age Inquisition is my most popular series. My most popular playlist and it has a lion's share of the most popular videos. Which is hilarious to me, because usually you'd think that people wouldn't be watching, you know, an RPG. But people just ate up Inquisition. It made me really happy, because Inquisition is a great game. Anyway, but you're an awesome and funny YouTuber. Hmm, question. What games are you looking forward to or thinking about playing in the future, regardless of multiplayer or single player? Thanks. It's not the case. Um, well, a game I was looking was looking forward to back when this comment was done and when I was supposed to do the Q&A was, um, Deus Ex Mankind Divided because that game is amazing so far. And I really like the previous ones. Um, but that game's already out, so that game doesn't count. Um, I'm not excited for Final Fantasy XV. I'm probably not even gonna play it. Um, I can't th Oh, Outlast. Um, the sequel to Outlast... That one I'm absolutely excited for because it looks so cool. And Resident Evil. I am cautiously optimistic about Resident Evil 7. It looks a little bit too much like PT. I don't know if they're going to actually have a combat system in it. It would be really, really weird for a Resident Evil game to go first person because literally no other Resident Evil game is first person. Except, I think, some of the... Well, the rail shooters, of course. On Wii and Dead Aim, the like old light gun ones, uh, Survivor, you know, the ones that nobody liked and nobody played. And it also has, it has a very PT vibe. I'm still not sure how I feel about Seven, but I'm cautiously optimistic. So, the two games I could, that I think of off the top of my head as being really excited for would be Outlast 2 and Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Because they just look like they're going to be a lot of fun. Oh, maybe Dishonored 2? I don't have a pre-ordered. Not entirely sure if I'm going to get it yet. It'd be cool, but I would kind of have to let's play Dishonored before I could do Dishonored 2, and I don't know if I have time for that. <laughs> Mostly because I'd rather have the previous game on my record before doing the first one, which is why I kind of rushed Deus Ex Human Revolution toward the end there, because I wanted to have it done before Mankind Divided came out. But, yeah. There's, there's games I'm excited for. <laughs> Ivan Hernandez wants to know... Wow, I have not seen... See, seen, that's the wrong... That's the wrong scene. S-E-E-N. I have not seen any of your videos lately. I've been pretty busy. I'm sorry, Scarlet, but I'll try to catch up on your videos or try to watch a new one. Congrats for having 4K subs on your channel. Thank you. I actually have a question if you don't mind answering. By any chance do you think you will be able to get Final Fantasy XV? I just thought I wasn't excited for it. Okay. No. I probably won't get Final Fantasy XV. Reason being... Um... I have a love-hate relationship with Square Enix. I do really like games like Deus Ex, which were not made by Square Enix, they were published by Square Enix. Kind of like Dragon Age Inquisition wasn't made by EA, it was published by EA. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with games that Sony actually, or the Square Enix actually made. Because of, well, two games, really. Um, Final Fantasy XIII and Parasite Eve Third Birthday. So until I know, or in fact, that Final Fantasy XV is not a load of ass, and until I see those reviews, there is no way in hell I am even touching it. If those reviews turn out to be really good and it gets glowing praise, not just from reviewers, but from the community, then I'll touch it. Maybe. Probably not. Because I have a lot of things I need to pay for. 
but we'll see. Probably not, though. Flareon says, I love you, Scarlet, and I hope you stay here and never leave. Smiley face. I don't plan to be going anywhere. Unless I get hit by a truck, or a car, which almost happened during PAX. She talked about that in the PAX vlog. <laughs> yeah, I nearly got hit by a car. There'll be a story in that one. It'll be fun. <laughs> Actually, I might have already seen that one before this, because I don't know which one's going to come out first. But thank you! I love you too, because you hit that subscribe button, and you're awesome. Everyone watching this video is awesome. Because you're watching this video, therefore you're awesome, so... Everybody's awesome. Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you... That's not get copyrighted. <laughs> Frog Raider one wants to know, I've been enjoying your videos. My question, when did... Why did you start a YouTube channel? I think I brought this up in vlogs before. I'm like 99% sure I did. But I'm also like 1% sure I didn't. Anyway, I started a YouTube channel um, for kind of a similar reason that I started a Twitch channel. I didn't really start to snowball into YouTube. Um, I had a couple like very small Let's Plays and just like not very frequent uploads and just like, yeah, let's put it on there. Um, and then I watched a Twitch live stream for charity from 8 Red Coins. They spent a couple days playing Final Fantasy VII non-stop. They would actually, there was two of them and they would take breaks, one would sleep and the other would keep playing and then they'd switch off for a while. Um, but watching that, one made me want to start a Twitch stream so I could stream for charity, which I did shortly after that, which was the ill fate of Final Fantasy IX um, charity live stream that I did start to finish. Only time I took a nap was when I got outvoted my, by my own Twitch chat and took a four hour cat nap after my computer blew its power supply. <laughs> because I didn't have ice packs on it because I was streaming from the laptop <laughs> in my uncle's apartment so they could hear me the entire time because they were both literally in the room on the other side of the computer. <laughs> it was still fun though. I played it. I finished it. It was awesome. We raised a couple hundred dollars, I think, for charity, and it was awesome. But... I did that, and I kind of went, I really like this stuff, so I started, uh, I couldn't record videos at that point, because my YouTube channel was pretty much dead. I had maybe a couple, I think that might have been when I did some Portal stuff, was before I moved in with my uncle, but I couldn't feasibly record when I was living with my uncle, um, because I literally didn't have a room. I was sleeping on a nest of pillows, I kid you not, sleeping on a nest of pillows next to a fish tank in the corner of my uncle's apartment because they had a one-bedroom apartment, and it wasn't in the best shape. Um, so I couldn't really do anything then, but once I got out of there, got a job, and moved into another apartment, the second that happened, I had all my equipment, so I had my microphone, I had all of my good stuff, and that was when I actually really started YouTube. I got, uh, I got this lovely, lovely baby here, my Samson CO3U con Omnidirectional Condenser Microphone. That's what that is. Um, and I got, eventually got a webcam, uh, this, this little guy here, and I got a second webcam because this one was technically borrowed from a friend of mine, and then I gave him the one that I bought and kept, just kept using this one because <laughs> the one that I bought didn't have proper recording equipment or recording programs for it, so I just kept this one and gave him the one that I bought. Um, yeah. So that's... That's a really long-winded explanation for why I started YouTube, but yeah, it was to do charity stuff and to make people happy. That's literally the reason. And you guys seem to like it because there's, what, 4,396 of you as of the last time I actually looked on my YouTube channel, so I'm probably actually going to wake up to 4,400, which would be awesome and terrifying, but also awesome. Um, yeah. Willcraft says, I subscribed to you because of your playthroughs of Kodelka, and I was wondering if you ever planned to play through the whole Shadowheart series. As a diehard fan of the series, I'd love to see your playthroughs of the rest of the series. That's using series a lot in a really short time span. 
Love the content and looking forward to see much more from you. I really, really, really want to play the Shadow Hearts series. Really bad. I have them. They are sitting over there. I bought them. I have not opened them since I bought them. I have, I have played the games before, but I was borrowing a copy from a friend when I played them. Technically, Kodelka belongs to my friend Gina still, but I've had it for like seven years, so I think it's mine now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really want to play Shadow Hearts. I just need to find a, like, time and a time slot to wedge it in. I don't care if it's not popular, I want to play that game, but I need to... Um, that probably won't happen until after I finish Resident Evil 4, which won't happen until I finish Dragon Age, um, Origins. Or, not Origins, Dragon Age Awakening. Because I still need to finish up Awakening before I can do Dragon Age 2. Which I do have, um, and I kind of just need to not leave Let's Plays dead. Dragon Age Awakening is on hiatus at the moment, just because I have now have Mankind Divided that I'm going through, because that just came out. And because I'm lazy and don't want to switch over to the console recording at the moment. But hopefully you'll be seeing some more of that soon, I'll get things wrapped up. And we will eventually finish Resident Evil 4, and then once that happens, I'll finally play... Shadow Hearts, because that game is amazing, and I haven't played it in years. I think I only ever played Shadow Hearts once, too. Yeah. But it's awesome. Shadow Hearts is awesome! <laughs> Alice Grimm 1 wants to know- I, I keep moving my bangs out of the way because they keep just going- <laughs> But, Alice Grimm 1 wants to know- I'm currently going through your- oh my god, it's another Kodaka question! People really like my Kodaka Let's Plays. Well, in the comments at least, because view-wise, not nearly as well as my other ones, mostly because it's very old. I'm currently going through your Kodaka playthrough. Even though I have a game myself, it just seemed a lot easier to watch someone else play. I was looking for someone who played it, so thank you for that, hence why I slept. I'm hoping to start going through your other playthroughs, but as for now, I'm just getting through Kodaka. Congrats on the subs. See, that one is just a nice comment, because I was including just regular comments in this, because it's not just a Q&A, it's kind of a little reading your comments as well, but... Thank you! I'm glad you liked Kodelka, because that game is amazing and I loved it. <laughs> I really like Shadow Hearts and Kodelka, you guys. You, you don't even understand. You, you don't even understand how much I love those games. They're great. <laughs> Dark Delta wants to know, Hooray! Congratulations, Scarlet. It's amazing to see the growth in a channel in the channel and your videos. You've earned every one of your subscribers and supporters to so never doubt that and have an amazing day. You too! Also, everybody who's watching this video, y'all have an amazing day. If you think you're not having an amazing day, watch this video, watch all the videos down below, watch watch other videos on my channel, hope, hope they make you smile. Watch the Outlast highlights or any of the other highlight videos, those are kind of like the... I, I'm proud of those, I want to do more of them, but I really don't have time. <laughs> I really wish I did, though, because those highlight videos were so much fun to make. <laughs> but if you're ever feeling down, I definitely recommend those, because even I will go back and watch them sometimes, because I find them hilarious. <laughs> even though that's kind of tooting my own horn, but... I don't care, I still think they're funny. <laughs> great... is that Great Malboski? Great... Great... Great Malboski. Malboski. Malboski? Mal Anyone else think Miss Scarlet Tanager is Artemis from Ready Player One? I don't know who that is. I own the book! I got it in a loot crate! It's sitting over on my bookshelf, I just haven't gotten to it yet because I still need to finish reading all of the Dragon Age and Mass Effect books and the Deus Ex book that I got before I can get to it. So, I don't know who that is, but what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below whether or not you think I look like this uh, Artemis person, or act like this Artemis person from Ready Player One. Surely read my copy of it. Mega Moomin UK is um Tony the Raptor, he's one of my Twitch mods. You need to play Broken Sword, also Ba, also it's one T. Those are all things from my Twitch chat, by the way, for just you YouTube people. Um Ba is a reference to the Dog of Wisdom, which is a which is a video that all of my friends love, Molly, AJ Day, all of them. So they always torture me with the word ba. To the point that it has become a Twitch command. And also, it's 1T is reference to my uh, 
tendency to fly into a rage anytime somebody misspells my name with two T's instead of one. It's Miss Scarlet Tanager, just like my username. Well, my username is Miss Scarlet Tanager. My first name is Scarlet. It's not Miss Scarlet Anger, which has people have called me that before. It's Miss Scarlet Tanager. One T. S C A R L E T. Um, yeah. Don't misspell my name. I don't like it. I actually found the Scarlet with two T's in Diamond City in Fallout 4 during the live stream, and I nuked her repeatedly and killed her in every conceivable fashion, and then reloaded my save so it didn't happen, so I could do it again if I wanted to later. Just because I really don't like it when people misspell my name. And I was kind of angry that the game will register a Scarlet with two T's as something that Codsworth can say, so he can say your name, but can't do it for one T. Because the game hates me, that's why. We've got another one from Wiseman. Is there any chance of you going to PAX East? Probably. Maybe. I have no idea. I'll have, I won't be able to tell you guys that until we get closer to the date, and it depends on where my finances and my schoolwork is at that point. I do have TwitchCon planned if I can save up the money for it. I'm going to be doing some more live streams specifically to raise money for uh, TwitchCon. After that would be PAX South, and then after that would be PAX East. So I'm going to have to pay for them in that order. If I can pay for PAX South and PAX East, that'd be awesome, but I have no idea. We're not going to know until then. And PAX South is kind of a higher priority because it's a smaller convention, so it's easier to navigate. And it's just a couple days after my birthday. So I kind of think of it as like a birthday present to myself. Shauna Grin wants- oh god, this video is 30 minutes long. Shauna Grin wants to know, You're amazing and I love your videos. Thank you for making me smile and making my day brighter. Just stay yourself and keep up the good work. I'll try. Thank you for liking my videos and I'm really glad that they make you smile. It makes me want to blush. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's kind of hard to think of my videos as making people happy. And I see all the comments, you know, say, thank you for making me smile and all that jazz. And that's really awesome and heartwarming. Um, but it also makes me think, one of the first times that I kind of realized um, just the impact that my videos can have on someone is when I first started meeting fans at conventions. I've only met a couple. I've only met a couple fans who actually knew who I was at conventions and didn't mistake me for JP's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Which happened twice. Uh, it was kind of like the meeting in person, which really made it sink home to me. And yeah, it's cool. You're all amazing. You're, I said it already. I've already said that. And I love your faces, and I've already said that too. <laughs> Next question <laughs> Malcolm99. Wow, I can't believe you're only at 4,000 subscribers. To be honest, Scarlet, you deserve so much more subscribers, like an additional 100,000 million more subs. You're a great motivator and are able to show that anyone's channel can grow. How it takes the- how it just- <laughs> Reading is hard. <sighs> and it take- and just takes the effort like yours to get up a level. Just keep- just keep to what you're doing and we'll reach 10,000 by the end of the year. Now my question, how did you get to meet Molly and Wade? Also, hashtag jealous. Um, I hope, fingers crossed, we get to 10,000 by the end of the year. Might not happen because it's already September, but... <laughs> A girl can dream. I can dream, can't I? Um, as for how I met Molly and Wade, um, I just did. It's literally how it happened. I did a um, charity stream for Able Gamers, so I met Craig and me, and I befriended them. Um, then I showed up at Mark's pan first ever panel at PAX Prime a couple of years ago, and told... <laughs> you can see this in the PAX Prime, I think it's 2014, I think? Whichever one was Mark's first panel. You can see, during the question portion, um, me standing up in my Garnet costume with my white mage cloak, and I look Mark in the face and I tell him I have no idea who he is. Because I legitimately did not know who he is. I said, I have no idea who you are, but I have a question for Wade. And then I proceeded to ask Wade a question, which in hindsight was probably a question better suited to Mark. But I didn't know that at the time because I didn't know who he was. But I knew who Wade was and I was there for him. 
So that was kind of their first impression of me. And then I hung out at the meet and greet, um, less with Mark, I was mostly ha there to meet Molly and meet Wade, and D-Live and Etuin and them. That's how I met them there, um, and as for how I became friends with them, I just, literally, I just did. I talked to them, I tried not to be pushy, I offered help, I offered to make them costumes, I offered anything that I could do, you know, just because that's who I am. If somebody needs help or they want help, I am always try to be one of the first to offer it, even before they know that they need it or want it. Like me just going, hey, let me make you a costume! Which was actually part of the reason that Molly and I became friends, because I became friends with Molly first. <laughs> Um, I told her that I would make her a costume, and we ended up on Skype to- I think it was Skype. It was either Skype or Twitter. Or both. Um, we ended up befriending each other on there, and I told her I would make her a costume. Um, I won't go into, like, all of it, because it's a boring story for the most part. But we just ended up talking because of that, and we became friends, and then I started hanging out with her at conventions eventually, and now she's probably one of my closest friends. As well as Wade and, and Tesh and DLive and other people, their day. Day day is amazing. Adria is amazing. All my friends are amazing. They're, I really don't deserve them. They're they're awesome. <laughs> but yeah, how did you get to meet Molly and Wade? I just did. I guess you could say I started out as a fan, but I never considered myself a fan. Because I never really freak out or treat people as being anything extra or anything higher or better than me or more important than me. I just treated them like people. And then I became friends with those people because, you know, people become friends with other people. That's really all I can say. Miguel Davila says, if you could be any character from any video game, who would you want to be and why Shepard? Full stop. Don't even have to keep answering this question. Motherfucking Shepard. Because then I can romance Garrus. <laughs> and I can be a badass biotic. <laughs> um, and that would be amazing. But yes, Shepard. I would be Shepard in a heartbeat. Um, but if we took away the obvious answer of Shepard or the Inquisitor, it would probably be... Garnet. Garnet from Final Fantasy IX, because I'd be a badass queen. I would have the ability to summon. I would have the amazing, amazing boyfriend that is the Dawn Tribal. I'm looking over at my games, trying to think if there's any other characters. No, I can't think of anybody besides the only other person I could think of was Yuna. But if I was given Yuna or Garnet, I'd choose Garnet to be. But honestly, Shepard, <laughs> it, 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 it would be Shepard. Adam Buckham wants to know, this qu this makes me laugh though, Scarlett has been doing YouTube for a couple of years or so and has only got 4,047 subscribers right now. Thanks. Th th thanks for, uh, yeah. Mm. And there's one YouTuber that's been doing it like a year and has 100, 123,246 subscribers right now. I wish Scarlett a couple million subs, though you're amazing, Scarlett. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, I am well aware of the fact that I've been doing YouTube for plenty of years, technically, and that I am still a fairly small channel. But you know what? That doesn't bother me as much as people might think it does. Um, it just means that you guys are much more... we're all much more close, because there's few of you, so I can interact more often with you guys, which I plan to do, despite the fact that I am exhausted from work half the time. But after PAX uh, Prime, I've just went, you know what? I can't stop doing that as an excuse, which is why it is 11 p.m. and I'm probably pissing off my roommate right now, but I'm currently recording a Q&A for you guys that I meant to do a month and a half ago. <laughs> but, yeah. One of these days, eventually, maybe we'll get to 100k. Maybe we'll get to 10k. A million. But you know what? 100... 1,000, 4,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 5 million, 10 million, whatever. I don't care how many subs I have. I really don't. It'd be nice to do this for a living, which would necess which would mean I would have to necessarily have more subs than I do. But that's not what matters <laughs> to me. What matters is that I have a community that is nice, pleasant, 
you know, doesn't put people down. Um, but you guys don't, which is, you know, I'm really thankful for that. Um, and that, you know, you guys like to watch my content. For those of you who are here, even if there's only one subscriber, I would still want to make videos because it's so much fun. So, yeah, maybe one of these days I'll get that big, but if I don't, whatever, that's the way it is. JJ, because it has science, logic, and impressive reaction, because it has science, logic, and impressive reaction every gameplay I watch. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute, I was like, the grammar? Here's my question, is there going to be a co-op Let's Play like Resident Evil 5? Plus, P.S. I love the Dead by Daylight do exciting to watch. Um, I do really want to do the DLC for Resident Evil 5, but since Necro has kind of gone off the radar for Let's Plays, and just in general, I haven't been able to get a hold of him in some time, so I don't think I would actually ever be able to do the DLCs of Resident Evil 5 unless I found somebody else to collaborate with, and I don't actually have many friends who own the game. So one of these days, maybe, I want to also want to do a co-op Let's Play of Resident Evil 6, Doing an in-person co-op of um, Resident Evil Revelations 2 would be really cool. I would just have to figure out somebody to get over here to do one with. Um, one thing I kind of want to do is like a co-commentary Let's Play. Not like a co-op Let's Play, but a co-commentary where I have multiple people, mm, maybe in a Skype call, commentating alongside me, which would also be fun to do, maybe for something like Final Fantasy, maybe when I'm live streaming it or something. But, yeah, uh, uh, I would like to, but it's kind of difficult. A co-op Let's Play is much more difficult than just a multiplayer game like Dead by Daylight, because for a co-op Let's Play, you have to get two people together on a regular basis, well, two or more, together on a regular basis to play a game to completion and work around people's different um, recording schedules. If you notice on Resident Evil 5, despite the fact I probably would have had 22 to 30 minute episodes, we cut them down to about 15 because that's what Necro would usually record to. Um, and my contribution was having intros and outros at the beginning and end of each video despite the fact Necro kept trying to trip me up with his recording. So long story short, I would like to, but we'll see. I think this is the last, no, it's the second to last one, okay. Ghostly Conor wants to know, Hi Scarlet, you're maybe not the biggest YouTuber yet, but your channel already has a lot of Let's Play videos that are fun to watch. Great job. Please keep it up that way. And here's my question, have you thought about making some cosplay videos maybe on a separate channel? Um, I have. I might do some as just like a little vlog thing, maybe as part of like the state of the channel address at the beginning of each month, I'll kind of show which cosplays I'm working on, like, uh... Got a little little maker right here. <laughs> And and the visor just fell to my floor. Oops. Take care of that later. But maybe I'll do some of will kind of like showcase some of the cosplays I've done. Maybe as part of like another Q and A kind of thing, or like I said, as the state of the channel address, which I should have up in another day or two, either before this or after this. I don't know when this is getting uploaded because it's going to take much longer to edit than the other ones <laughs> because it's already 45 minutes long. Okay. Um, but yeah, one of these days. And also, thank you for saying I've been doing a great job. I, that's what I'm here for, to try. And for the last question, we have Iman G. Yes, I think you're really becoming more confident in front of the camera, and that's awesome to see as a subscriber. Keep hustling hard. Smiley face. I thank you. That's something that I've been trying to work on a lot more. Because if you notice, if you compare- oh god, one of these days I should do a cringe video where I watch my first ever upload to this channel. <gasps> um, but my earlier Let's Plays, I had much harder time in front of the camera. I'd be much quieter, much more subdued, much less boisterous. Part of that was because I didn't start out with a face cam. Um, now I do a face cam. It makes it a little bit easier to- Hi Earth. Hey dude. There's... I have a- don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can't really. There's a there, there, there's a little air thing dangling off of my microphone, and she has one leg because the other one fell off. <laughs> but yeah, 
Thank you for saying that. That's something, one of the things I've been working on the most. Was trying to be more confident from the camera and being more expressive. Which was part of the reason why I did start doing face cam. Not because it was expected, not because it's what people wanted, but because I felt it would help with my confidence in a video. Because I'm a very expressive, expressive person in real life, as you guys see every time you watch my videos. <laughs> but it's kind of hard for me to portray that if you can't see my face, and it made it much easier to take all of my nervousness and just throw it out the window because y'all can see this mug anyway. So I can't have nothing to hide, nor could I hide it if I wanted to. So, yeah. Thank you for that. I'm gonna keep hustling. It'll be fine. But, that was the last question. That's a lot of questions. I am completely winded. It's 45 minutes. This thing's gonna take a the hell to process, but we are just about to reach 4,400 subscribers. We are probably going to reach that milestone before I actually upload this. So, I want to say thank you to everybody for 4,000 subscribers, for 4,400 subscribers. However many I have, however many I get, however many I did have, just thank you guys for liking the videos, sharing the videos, being nice to me, being nice to each other, and, you know, being awesome and being you. Because that's all I can really ask for, and that's all anybody can ask for, is for you just to be you. So, you're awesome. I'm awesome. You're more awesome. This channel is awesome. This video has gone way too long, and my roommate's probably gonna shoot me if I don't stop. <gasps> but, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and this has been the very, very long overdue Q&A slash reading your comments. And I will see you all in the next video.